This machine is known as a pillar or pedestal drill. It is used for cutting holes into wood, metal and plastic. The pillar drill is made up of the following parts. The power isolator switch, the rotary speed selection switch, the green on and red off switches, the emergency foot stop pedal, the drill feed handles for raising and lowering the drill piece, the depth stop block and depth feed dial for adjusting how far down the drill bit and three jaw chuck move, the drill guard cover, the three jaw chuck that holds drill bits securely whilst drilling, the chuck key, the chuck key tightens the three jaw chuck around the drill bit to prevent it from falling out during use. Never leave the chuck key in the three jaw chuck as this can cause serious accidents. Instead, remove it and return it to a safe place after using it. The pedestal or drill table. The table height adjustment handle and the table locking handle that allow the pedestal table to be moved up and down, left and right. The safe working area marked it on the floor and the waiting area if the drill is occupied. A drilling board or piece of sacrificial material. A small G-clamp used for holding material safely and securely whilst drilling. A machine vise that holds material of different sizes and diameters safely and securely whilst drilling. Different diameters or sizes of hole can be cut all the way through the material or to a set distance. There are three common drill bits we will use in the workshop. Twist drill bits, Forstner drill bits, and Brad bit drill bits, or dowel drills. Twist drills can cut into wood, metal, and plastic. Forstner drill bits are for cutting into wood only, and Brad bit drill bits are for cutting into both wood and plastic.